right on. You probably could hear it, right? <laughs> Can you guys not drink? How old are you guys? <laughs> Who's of age here? Round of applause. I'm an actor. Uh, I graduated Harvard with a theater and a theater degree. <laughs> Uh, and my manager, my agent's like, you gotta get into stand-up. Everybody's doing stand-up. Everybody's doing it. Uh, Louis, Louis C.K., the actor from the TV show Louis. <laughs> doing stand-up now. Uh, Christopher Rock. Guy's been hitting the open mics the last couple months. The actor Christopher Rock from... <laughs> Some of the movies. <laughs> So here, the reason I'm bringing this up, I'm not bragging about my Harvard degree. Yes, Harvard University, located. Uh, I'm bringing it up because, you know, I don't want you guys, you're here to see a stand-up comedy show, and so far you've seen Nick, you've seen Andrew, you've seen Andrew. We get it, hot people can do comedy too. Uh, Self-loathing and... Like that stereotypical, I'm a bro. Like I don't want to get caught in the stereotype of being that stand-up comedian, where you know you're just like a, just like a, I'm just this big old, I'm just this big old sad sack, lonely, broke, no good. Can't get a girl to kiss me on the lips. Stand-up comedian, this big old dick. <laughs> Try not to get caught into that stereotype. <laughs> but they say talk about what you know. <laughs> I'll do some Harvard style acting at you, and you guys can go home and say, We've got an Austin Film Festival t shirt here. Um, no, just shout out to the t shirt. <laughs> and, uh, um, okay, so I'm going to do acting at you. Uh, so, real quick, somebody, or uh, actually, you, Miss, can you give me an emotion and I'll do, act, I'll do acting towards it? Yeah. Just any emotion. Angry. Angry. Doesn't have to be when you're feeling. <laughs> okay, I'll do angry. I'll get angry. Okay, so I grew up in, um, let me just say this. I grew up in Nebraska. In Nebraska, we have uh, farms. All our friends and family have farms. And uh, a cool thing, like my parents would take us to these farms, and all the older kids got to do, they used to go play on the train tracks, and they go throw pennies down, and throw rocks, pretty much just trying to derail the trains. Uh, so one day, my, my father, my dad was like, um, I'm going to take you and your brother. I was seven. My brother was like nine. He's like, I'm going to take you to the tracks and teach you how to jump on the on and off the trains. He's like, I'm going to show you how to do it, and then you guys can do it. The train goes, and it goes, and it goes. So, he, so my dad jumps on the caboose, and he goes like 60 yards. And then uh, he goes like another 15 yards, and we're like, Who's gonna, is he scared? And he does like a little bit of movement. And me and my brother look, and uh, we're like, he's going to jump. He's doing, He's moving. And he just went like this. <laughs> and then he just did that until he was a dot in the horizon. <laughs> and that was the last time I saw, me and my brother saw our, our father. So I'm gonna do, I'll do the anger that me and my brother felt being uh, seven to nine left in the woods of Nebraska after our father left on a train. <laughs> Real person. But I don't know if you guys know. So, okay. He's off the distance.
45 more minutes. <laughs>